Hello! Okay, so this is our Ben Keller, thank you. So, Joe Grasso, hello. How are you doing today? Wonderful. Um, so, this is our indie lab, and we put the indie in quotations because I got the idea for this lab at the Indy 500. Wow. Hey, it's going to come into play. Um, the reason, so I went to the Indy 500, and before the race, the cars do some laps. And you, they say that the cars do these laps to warm up the tires so they get better grip on the track. So Will and I wanted to see if that was actually true. Um, you have to use sleep tires though. Yeah, well, Harry, shh, please. Later. Um, so Will, do you want to read that? Yeah, so we were going to test it by uh, just doing different kinds of uh, trials with different temperatures on the, the rubber and like scratching it up too. Because I had an idea about um, like when they actually spin the tires on the track, that it might scratch up the bottoms or something like that. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh, oh. now it's working. Oh. Okay. So, so, yeah. So these are pictures. So what we did is we had a heat gun and we had these little square pieces of rubber. So what we did is we heated the heat gun and then we put a weight on it and we pulled it with the force sensor to see when it like broke. Uh, the coefficient of static friction, and we would get those peak forces. Um, and then this is what it looked like when we scratched up the bottom, which is what we would be putting on the ground and then pulling it. So, yeah. Uh, here's the data that we got, and it was actually really weird because as we heated it up, the coefficient of friction went down like a lot at first, and then slowly started to increase again at the end. So that was really, really weird. And we would have liked to be able to test temperatures higher than that, because we want to see if it keeps rising and if it would actually like end up helping the coefficient of static friction by heating it up, because right now it's just cutting it in three right now. It's a third of what it was. But then with the scratching, we found that scratching it before pulling it did increase the coefficient of static friction. And it worked the best when you scratched it on the same surface that you would be pulling it on. And that sort of made sense to me because it's almost like you're imprinting the surface onto the rubber so that when you pull it, it's like pulling it like when you have two things that are like latched together almost instead of just like barely sticking into each other. I don't know. It made sense like that to me. Milk no, though. No. This is just one. Yeah, this is the graph of our. Uh, coefficient of fr static friction versus temperature. Like, yeah, Do you can see down. the points? It's there, there, there. You might be able to draw on. Yeah, then we'd have to erase it later. I mean, no, right. go for it. It goes like that. Woo! Okay. Yeah. Oh, crap. <laughs> um, so in conclusion, so as we saw, uh, it looked like the coefficient of friction actually um, decreased, decreased <laughs> when we heated it up because so when we did this before this lab, we thought that the rubber would almost like melt and be like more sticky or something like it would like, like as we heated up the rubber, it would almost kind of like melt to like fill in the gaps of the ground. Um, but after some research online, we found that, like we all kind of know this, when you heat up rubber, it gets like floppier, right? When you heat it up, it gets like easier to bend and stuff. So 